What's going on everybody? My name is Kwaku Asafu J. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an app review. Um, this app is Microsoft News. Uh, Microsoft News is basically a news aggregation. Uh, just it, you know, it pulls in news from across the entire web and pulls it into one application just like you would have used Flipboard back in the days, um, back in the earlier days. So this is Microsoft's rendition of it. Uh, from starters, right here, you can see that this is the today view. So this is the home. Shows you what's currently trending, breaking news things. Um, you've got you know just a lot of interesting you know just elements here that I'll get through in a second. On this side here, you've got your little hamburger pop out, which shows you what exactly each of these things mean. Um, so if I click that, you'll see that this home is obviously home or today. Um, interests, sources, local videos, and send feedback, which opens up the feedback hub. And then down here, it says get Microsoft News. Now you might be confused, but before you click on it, but now you see that when you click on that, it actually means that you can type in your phone number and it'll send you a text message link to your device or email um, that allows you to then download Microsoft News on whatever device you're using. So that's a really cool thing. And then you got your little account here, which allows you to sign out, and then you've got settings below that. So starting back at the home, you see here you got tabs of my news, my sources, technology, opinion, uh, Microsoft Good News, fact check, and video. And then up here you also have edit and you have your turn on dark theme, which I'll get to in a second, and see more. See more just kind of extends it out so you can see what they mean or see what the symbols mean. And then you have your usual search. And then overall in the layout here you have you know the trending top news stories which is this is quite amazing the mega millions in the US jackpot hits 1 billion dollars I should really sign up for a lottery ticket today um and then you've got you know a bunch of other things going on here so it's really nice it's a nice clean layout it's it's smooth it works well um yeah so Chloe moving on here so if we click on this right here the interests you see interest, my interest. I don't use this application too much. Um, in fact, I hardly ever open it up. I usually just find the website that I usually go to, such as like Engadget, and just know what's going on. But you can bring in your interest. So if you're interested in technology, you can pull in technology. And if you click on technology, then you'll see everything related to technology, um, which is, you know, Microsoft, Facebook stuff, you know, all the, all the usual trending technology stuff. And basically up here, you kind of see what your, you know, what your interests are up above so if you click this you'll notice that it kind of exactly corresponds to whatever is uh, up above here next to my news so that's a cool thing now talking about up here you see the edit tab up here so if you click edit it jumps to interest and allows you to edit your interest allows you to add an interest so if you're interested in like Google you know you can look for Google News um, powered by Bing Google Classroom anything related to Google and if I click Google you'll see it adds a Google um, news type of thing to it so basically any topic related to Google and slightly related to Google will show up so if I click on Google you'll see everything here is related to Google whether it's Dow Jones stuff and all this stuff so it's a really cool uh, it's a really cool application that it's clean it's laid out smoothly you can easily scroll up and down it's mouse friendly because again it's mouse and touch friendly because again um, one thing I complained about before in another app review I think was TuneIn was that um, it was too big every element was too big and they took up too much space when most people I see tend to not really touch their computer screen to do it even if you have a surface I hardly have seen people touch their screen they usually just use a trackpad or a mouse and keyboard um, but up here after the edit you have your turn on dark theme now this is a very interesting uh, this is a very interesting thing you can click on here toggle switch because when you click on it it turns this application only into dark mode and not the entire Windows experience in general. So one thing that's in pretty much every other like 98%, 99% of applications out there or 99% of applications don't allow you to just toggle dark mode on and off. But I guess Microsoft said, let's do it for this one. And I heard that it's also coming into some other Microsoft um, applications as well, just toggling dark mode on and off inside the application which is really nice so if you don't want dark mode on all your stuff but you just want it on your new stuff you can easily do that um, and that's a really nice feature so you see more just lets you see what that button does search lets you search so again if you like uh, Windows 10 
you love Windows 10, you can search for Windows 10. And rather than Windows 10 showing up on top, on the top bar on the under the home tab or the today tab, it'll just be for your search. And then you can just scroll through Windows 10 things. And then we can go to like, for instance, read this Windows Central article, which shows like a clean, you know, Reedy, you know, not Reedy, but a clean news style, distraction free um, page that shows you their article exactly laid out. It's not formatted exactly how they probably wanted it to, but it's laid out so that it's readable and it's distraction free. And then with the ad on top, obviously. So if I click on the picture, for instance, it pops up the picture, it shows you the source, it shows you, I guess, another source with the logo. And you can easily just go back just by hitting the back button in the corner. So it's a cool, it's a nice application here. Um, also here you have share and then you also have their copy link. So you can copy the link of the article and I'll just show you an example. When I copy the link, I'll put it in search so you can see that it actually shows up. One thing that's really weird though, I guess, I don't know whether it's because I have a dark mode on, but this paste is very dark. Um, it's, it's too hard to see. I don't know whether it's only for this application, but it's too dark. But if I hit paste, you'll see that the link shows up. I'll just hit the X to get rid of it. So it's a really nice thing. Let me see if it changes. Yep, it changes now. But when I click on the light theme, uh, it's really dark. They haven't changed that. I, I don't think they caught that. It's probably a bug. So Microsoft, uh, whoever created this, whatever team created this, make sure that they fix this. When you go to the light theme, which is this theme for this application, when you right click to copy and paste, it doesn't, it makes it too dark. You can't read it for the average eyes. Um, but when you go to dark, it makes it legible and you can read it easily. So make sure, I guess, what they should do is make this white so that way you can read it or make it the same color scheme as the background here. So that's that's just a minor thing. Um, also, you have this arrow here next to every article and it's actually on each side and it allows you to go forward and back to the next article. Um, so it's another really nice thing. You can't use your left or right arrow key or anything like that. I just tried it, but it lets you know what article is next. So if you click it, You'll see that this article is next from The Verge. Re they're re-releasing the Windows 10 October update. Um, that was October 9th, obviously. So it's just related articles. They're not always exactly. Um, they're not always exactly um, the actual what's coming up next in the day. These are just randomly happening. So this today's the 19th as I'm recording it, and um, this article from Microsoft's blog actually is from the 17th, um, which I'll actually cover this later on. Uh, so it's it's a cool it's a nice application um it works really well i'll go to this next tab here sources you can add sources so if you like gaming and you like and you have a specific website that you like following like for instance polygon you can add polygon to some of your sources maybe ign if you like ign's coverage um kotaku if you like them you can add their coverage to your gaming tab and then you'll have some extra sources to uh, some specific sources to follow in terms of their news coverage for the topic that you like. So if you go to my sources, you see Polygon, IGN, Kotaku there. And if you click on it, you see like, I, for some reason, it seems like the image is not loading. I'm not sure why. But you'll see, you see the article show up uh, and it does have a cover image and it actually is really well laid out. One annoying thing though is this ad. So i pausing it. Luckily it's muted. It's a giant ad. Um, it looks like this is actually, yeah, this is Polygon's website. So it just went to Polygon's website, I believe. Um, but it just made it a little bit less distracting, um, with all the extra stuff on the side. So if I scroll down, yeah, this is exactly Polygon's website. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a nicely laid out application. Sometimes it loads their website. Sometimes it doesn't. It's very interesting. And then you have this next tab here on the far right or far left that is local. So I tied in my location. So now it shows local news going on in my current location of where I'm at, you know, Woodbridge, Virginia. And it shows you, you know, current things going on in your local area. So if you like reading local news, you have it listed here. And then next thing you know is video. So anything that's videos, you can see it. So if you want to, for instance, um, watch a video on the lottery, that's 1.4 billion. This is the lottery, you know, stuff. So if you like that, there's all, there's a cast two button. There's the resize aspect ratio. Um, see the bars on the side. There's the play button, the closed captioning, which allows you to set closed captioning. And then you have your volume, which allows you to set a slider and re reset your volume. Or if you have like me and you have a keyboard that can just, you know, increase and lower the volume just by 
scrolling up and down on the keyboard, you can use that. Then you have your full screen button. So it's a really nice thing. Um, another thing here is uh, send feedback. Obviously, send feedback opens up um, the feedback hub on Windows 10 and allows you to send feedback if you have any problems. I am not going to send feedback because I'm just making this video and that's the feedback that I do and they'll most likely see this anyway. Um, and then you have your account thing here, your sign out thing here, which allows you to sign out. Um, and then also you have here your settings. So when you click settings, it shows the current theme or mode that you're using for the application, whether it's Windows default, which my Windows default is dark. So it naturally goes to dark. And then there's just dark if you want to set it that way um, or light theme. And then you can go to Windows settings automatically. Um, you can play video automatically or you can turn it off. Uh, you can turn on breaking news notifications. Uh, you got your privacy statement, which is a very long privacy statement if you want to read it. I'm not even going to go to terms of use because it's text. And then this here, you have your just about what version you're running and things like that. So yeah, it's uh, overall the Microsoft News application is a, it's a very, it's a very good application. Um, it's a clean application. It's definitely a step up from what it was in the past, which was MSN News on Windows 8 days. Um, I'm getting back back into doing this, so I'm seeing like I'm seeing the changes from when I did this in the past and when I covered Microsoft News and Xbox and all that stuff. And definitely step up. There's a definite big step up to the style. One thing though that I've noticed is that this hasn't been updated with the fluent design uh, style that Microsoft has, which things get a little bit transparent. So usually this black background, you'll probably be able to see it'd be black, but it'd be like a fogged black that you could see through to my wallpaper in the back. Um, so it's definitely a nice application. You see that when I resize it, it it resizes accordingly to how it looks on a phone and it resizes to more, you know, to use utilize more space. But yeah, overall, this is the Microsoft News application for Windows 10. Um, let me know what you guys think about this application and what else other what other applications that I should cover uh, from the Windows Store or sorry, the Microsoft Store or even just x86 applications in general. Let me know what you what I should cover. Um, you can send me an email or a tip at nextgenwindows at gmail .com, which is the old email from when I used to do this. Um, you can also send a tip on Twitter, same thing, next windows, N-E-X-T windows or N-X-T windows, both work. Um, you can also uh, follow all the social media. All of it will be in the description below. And as always, subscribe um, for more coverage on anything going with Microsoft and Windows. All right, everybody, take care.